Mom used to tell me to stop when I got to the curb, slow down. Cars are coming fast now. So when I walk, I always hear her in the background. These memories are really all I've known. So if I had a genie, I would wish to go back home. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is straight out of Boston, or aka the King of Boston, and today we have episode 12 of the Jeff Samarja Connected Career Mode. This is the playoff episode for Jeff Samarja and his Seattle Seahawks, and this is the divisional round going up against the Green Bay Packers. Both teams finished 12-4 and on the regular season, so this should be a very equal, very good game. Second straight year, we're playing a divisional playoff game in Seattle against a top-tier NFC team. Last year, we did lose to the, San to the New York Giants. Hopefully, we will not repeat the same thing. And as you can see there, in the, or as you saw there at the beginning of the video, we saw a little bit of some headlines for Jeff Samarja. Skip Bayless calling him not the best wide receiver in the NFL. Jeff Samarja would like to prove him wrong, as he will try to do today in CenturyLink Field. 46 degrees out at primetime game at 8 o'clock. Really chance for Samarja to show off to the league. And here, Matt Flint's going to get it started. Rolls out. He's going to find Samarja after Samarja made a couple guys miss. Now, I know I usually post... Uh, I don't post videos like these on Wednesdays, but what I'm going to do is, I was planning on posting this video on Thursday, but to, tonight I'm going to record some NBA 2K13, probably the introduction video for my association, and then I'll record some gameplay and try to get that out on the weekend for like episode 1 or whatever, episode 2 I guess, and I'll try to get my, my career started over the weekend too. Like I said in the past, I'm going to post each of those once a week. So that should be a pretty good way to get some things done. I'm planning on doing six to seven episodes per season in the association. I'm going to play one game. I'm going to play one game a week and record one game per month in that association. And I'm also going to, like, if I get to the playoffs, I'll try to record, you know, one game per, I mean, one episode per ser series. So I'm not really 100% sure on what team I'm going to do yet. I'm actually leaning towards uh, a team that I'm not going to say just to keep it a surprise. And you see Kyle Arrington, the former Patriot, getting the interception there. Bad call for pass by Samarja, or me, I should say. But I have an idea of what team I want to do. I kind of want to take it. I know I talked about doing the Warriors, but I kind of want to take a team that doesn't have their core set yet. The Warriors really have their guys set. Steph Curry, David Lee, Andrew Bogut, all locked under contract. They got Harrison Barnes for four years. They got Clay Thompson for another three years. So they're set. I mean, their lineup's set for a couple years. And I want to take a team that I can build the type of team that I want to play with. So I've thought about a couple teams who don't really have too many key pieces, too many young guys that are going to be there for a few years. And I've narrowed it down. I'm not going to disclose what teams I've thought of. But I have an idea of what team I want to use. So hopefully you guys can look forward to that. Like I said, I'll try to have the introduction of that series up tomorrow and then try to get some gameplay out over the weekend as well as I'll start my my career I'm gonna pack the creation video rookie showcase pre-draft interviews and draft all into one episode for the my my career just because I don't want to drag that out like a lot of people like to do just I don't know, I, I find it I know a lot of people like to do it so you know it, if they make four videos and they each get 5,000 views or something they can make as much they can make more money or whatever and that's completely fine. That's their, you know, decisions. You know, it's, I mean, it's, it doesn't hurt anybody. Like, people call people money whores, and I, you know, I've kind of done that in the past. But honestly, like, it doesn't hurt anybody. You sit through a 15-second ad, and YouTube loses some money. Big whoop. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Or the, I, YouTube doesn't lose money. The ad corporations lose money. And, I mean, I, I don't know. As a as a 16-year-old teenager who actually knows, you know, a, a fair bit about business, I don't think it's a really a bad thing for big corporations to be losing money, so it's never really hurt anybody, and I just prefer to pack all my things into one video so I can get the series going, but anyway, that's besides the point. We're down 38-31 to 31 here. We need to score or else we're going to be eliminated in the divisional round for the second straight year, so we call some slants here. I call for it a little too early, and I believe that's Ernie Sims out of Florida State. It's going to pick that one off sealing the game we have no timeouts left no way to stop the clock and the Seattle Seahawks season is over tough tough way to go out for the Seattle Seahawks Jeff Samarja's career ends with two straight first round losses in the playoffs now, I will have another video up on Friday it is going to be the recap video showing his career stats his season stats stuff like that showing how he did throughout his career this is the end of this series so that I can focus on 2k and my Titans connected careers but as you can see there, the Packers celebrate in CenturyLink Field. Sad, sad sight for Seattle Seahawks and their fans. Matt Flynn there, brought over a couple off seasons ago, thought we could turn this franchise around. And we've brought them a couple playoff appearances, but we haven't done what we ultimately wanted to do. And you could honestly look at this as not, not really a failed series, but just a failed, 
gameplay to I don't really know how I would say it, but you know, it was a failure. We we lost in the first round for two straight years with teams that I thought we could personally make runs with. So as you can see there, Seattle Seahawks look very dejected entering their locker room. You're gonna see the highlights here. And like I said, next video will be the career recap video. So I'm gonna cut the commentary off here. As always, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'm out. Peace.